What's that, Peter? No. Oh. Just giving my Peter propeller a trial run. <laughs> Bit of work. I'm home. Henry, uh, come down here. We've got some news for you. <sighs> what now? Ooh, how romantic! A weekend away for your birthday. You mean I've got to be on my own with him for the whole weekend? Great! I can try out my Peter propeller. It's all right. We'll manage on our own. Well. You won't exactly be on your own. Great Aunt Greta's coming to look after you. No! Great Aunt Greta, how lovely to see you. Oh, hey, Peter, how you've grown. Uh, no, Great Aunt Greta. I'm Peter. <laughs> of course you are. And where's my little Henrietta? Uh, it's Henry, Great Aunt Greta. Yes. Uh, where is she? I've got presents for everybody. A baseball cap, Peter. I believe a fashionable teenagers like you wear them back to front. And these are for little Henrietta. Now you two young lovebirds, get off for your weekend, and we'll have some fun, won't we? Now, boys, be good, and here's our number in case of an emergency. Don't worry, we'll be good, won't we, Henry? Now then, what's next? It's nearly tea time. Maybe these will come in useful after all. Now then, let's see what we've got in the fridge. Uh, Great Aunt Greta? Oh, it's empty. We'll just have to go shopping. Pop, pop, pop. You wait here, Great Aunt Greta. Peter and I will get the shopping for you. Oh, what a kind little girl you are, Henrietta. Wait! What about vegetables? Oh, vegetables are from rabbits! Uh, ah. mm, too much sugar! Ah, what's next? Bread? Worked here long, my dear. Ready, great old Greta? So nice talking to you. <gasps> we didn't get any broccoli. No broccoli? What sort of supermarket do you call this? We won't be coming here again. Here we are. Eat it up while it's still hot. But, Great Aunt Greta, this is cat food. Yes, now eat it all up like good boys and girls. <sighs> Finish, Great Aunt Greta. Good girl, Henrietta. Down, Fido. It's Fluffy. So he is. Fluffy as can be. Good dog. She's a cat. That's right, Peter. You tell him. Scat, Fido. Scat. Pizza, pizza. Where's the pizza? Oh, I took it out of the trolley and put it back. You did what? Well, it's not good for you, Henry. Well, it's better than the cat food. Oh, we'll just have to order some. Henrietta! And I need it now! Ah, there you 
are, Henrietta. It's half past five and time all good girls were climbing up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. Come along now. Ah. And where do you think you're going, young fellow Milland? I thought you said it was bedtime. Not for big boys like you, Peter. You don't have to go to bed until ten o'clock. But... Excuse me, Sonny. Uh, can you tell me where Henry lives? I've got a delivery for him. Reckon he must be having a party. A party? Yeah, I reckon. So, any idea which way? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it's just round the corner down there. A party, eh? Wait till I tell everyone. Big kiss for Great Aunt Greta. <laughs> night, night, Henrietta. Sorry, Mr. Kill. Delivery for you, Missus. And what sort of time do you call this? In my young day, the post always arrived before half past eight in the morning, not in the middle of the night. Peter, shall we watch Macabre Mansion? I know big boys like you just love ghosties and ghoulies. Hi, Henry. We hear you're having a party. Am I? Yeah, well, why not? Come on in. I've got enough here to keep us going for a while. <laughs> oh, dear. Sounds like Fido wants to go walkies. Uh, uh, where's Fido's lead, Peter? She hasn't got a lead. She's a cat. Out in the back? Oh, don't worry. I'll find it. Come along, Fido. Walkies! Glad you're here. Hmm. A vandal as well as a raw dog, eh? I think you'd better come with me, sir. Uh, but, officer, I, I can explain. Uh, no, I can't. Oh.
Henry. There's Mom and Dad. That's me. And um, that's you. You didn't come out quite right. <laughs> I didn't come out right. It's a birthday present for Mom. You haven't forgotten that it's her birthday, have you, Henry? No, of course not. Do you know what you're going to give her? As if I tell you, frog face. He doesn't know. Henry! Henry! I'm horrid! I'm horrid! I'm really, really horrid! Henry! Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve are here. So? Aunt Ruby has very kindly offered to take you to the shops so you can buy a present for Mum. Shopping? With Aunt Ruby and stuck up Steve? No way! Can't you take us, Dad? Um, no, actually. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be um, tidying up the house. Mm, watching the match, more like. Coming shopping, Henry? No. Yes. Now come along, Henry. But I haven't got any money. What a surprise. <laughs> Here's ten pounds, but it's all to spend on a present for your mother. Understand? Ten pounds? But none of it's for me. That's right, Henry. Henry, it's not fair. Come on, boys, keep up. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> Get lost, bogey brain! <laughs> Mummy dearest, Henry called me a bogey brain! Horrid boy! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I thank you! Ow! Oh, wee! What is that smell? Oh, it's Henry! I might have guessed! Old a bogey brain, I reckon! Yeah, old a bogey! <laughs> Henry, will you please keep up with us? Horrid boy! What a horrid boy! <laughs> Dummy who's talking round here, Henry. No! Henry, you have been warned. I can't trust you to keep up, so hold my hand, please. <laughs> Bargain basement. You've only got ten pounds. That won't buy you anything in this store. I say, look at that, Mummy dearest. <gasps> oh. oh, I wish it was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Pity you can't afford that for your mummy, Henry. <laughs> Firepower! Oh, I wish I could 
get one of those for Mum's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Department. Be on the lookout for two naughty boys armed with triple treble blasters. Approach with caution. Hmm. <laughs> Attention shoppers! A little boy who answers to the name of Stuck Up Steve has lost his mummy. He's hiding behind a stuffed giraffe in the toy department. One day. Honestly, I have never been so humiliated in all my life. It was all Henry's fault, Mummy. Yes, of course it was, Popsicle. Oh, glad to see they're removing the riffraff from this store. <laughs> yeah, riffraff. <laughs> see what a lovely, talented and thoughtful son I've got. And shall I open your present now, Henry? Oh, yeah! Henry, I wonder what this could be. Would you like to open it, Henry? It was your reward from the department store after all. Oh, thanks, Mum. Babysitter's cancelled. Yes! I hate babysitters. I'm not a baby and I don't want to be sat on. In fact, parents shouldn't be allowed to go out at all. Parents should stay at home where they belong. <gasps> there must be someone else we can try. I think Henry scared them all away. 
why should I be nice to some ugly, stuck-up, bossy teenager who hogs the TV and pigs out on my biscuits? So, <laughs> I accidentally spilled some juice on Krabby Chris. <laughs> and Mad Martin didn't like skateboarding. <laughs> and Tetchy Tess, that was easy peasy. <laughs> I've done it. I've found a babysitter. Who? <gasps> Rebecca. Rebecca? Not rabid, Rebecca! No! Please don't let Rebecca babysit! She's horrible! She's not horrible, just strict. I'll get it! No, don't answer it, worm! She eats elephants for breakfast. What have you got to eat? Um, help yourself to anything in the fridge. Um, bedtime is nine o'clock, and uh, remember, Henry, don't be horrid! So you're the one known as Orrid Henry. <laughs> and you're the one known as Rabid Rebecca. And I'm the one known as Perfect Peter. And I know we're all going to have a good time. <laughs> Good's good. I like good. <laughs> I expect good. I demand good. Are we clear? <laughs> uh, that's lucky. I'm really good at being good. But it'll be difficult for you. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Take that, you miserable, maladjusted, malicious, malevolent mutant! Hey! I was watching Mutant Max! Would you care for some refreshments? <sighs> popcorn! I hate popcorn! Oh, uh, sorry, my mistake. I should have checked first. Oh, I love ballroom dancing. What's your favourite? The foxtrot? The, the tango? Get lost. Shut up! Henry, you're doing it all wrong. It's more of a cha 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 than a do 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 da. Get out of my way! You can both go to bed right now. But it's not my bedtime for hours. I thought we could all have a nice game of Chinese checkers before bedtime. Oh, OK. If you don't like that, how about Tiddlywinks? We're playing hide and seek. You both hide, and if I find you... You'll be wishing I hadn't. Oh, oh, oh. Patsy, I'm hiding in the cupboard under the stairs. Aren't you going to hide? Not from rabid Rebecca, I'm not. I've beaten all the other babysitters in town, and I'm not going to lose this time. Let the games begin! Don't worry, son. We'll have a squad car over there in no time. Now, what's this intruder look like? Ten feet tall, teeth the size of icebergs, and she's watching our TV right now! But that's Rebecca. She's not an intruder. was the intruder and took her away. Does that mean I win hide and seek? No, you most definitely haven't won hide and seek. 
Intruder, am I? Ten feet tall, am I? Teeth like icebergs, have I? Uh, it wasn't my idea. I think you're very uh, charming. Get to bed. You have five seconds. One. Run! Two. Three. Four. Five. Don't even think of moving from that bed or you'll be sorry you were born. This is not good for my reputation. I hope nobody finds out I went to bed two whole hours before my bedtime. Henry, it's me, Peter. I came to see what you're going to do. Do? Well, you're Henry. You're not going to take this lying down. No, no, I'm not. Because no one tells Henry what to do. This is our house. We have rights. We will not be bullied. We will stand up to the oppressor. We will gain our freedom. Because I am Henry and you are Peter. Um, I think I'll stay in my room. Worm. <coughs> Stupid toy! <sighs> you wake up! That's it! Are we free yet? We need a spider! Spider? Any particular species? Yeah! A big one! Perfect! Now, scream for help! Help! Ow! Ow! That was pretty good. Oh, thank you. Why aren't you in bed? Take them away. <laughs> Look, Peter, that was huge! Really hairy and horrible and wriggly and... Get rid of them! If I risk my life and get rid of the spiders, can I watch Mutant Max? Yes. And stay up till my parents come home? Yes. And eat all the ice cream in the fridge? Yes, just get rid of that... that... <clears throat> thing! Deal! I think I'll take them to school tomorrow. Right, back to bed, both of you, now! Uh, we agreed! Tough! Deal's off! A oh, simple thank you would have been nice. If the deal's off, you can have the spiders back! <laughs> Henry, maybe you should stop. It's not nice to scare others. She broke her promise! True. Grown-ups shouldn't make promises and not keep them. Let me out! Let me out right now! Freedom! Take that, you repellent, repulsive, repugnant, reptilian rat! Mash it, Mutant Max! Parents! Coming, ready or not! Right, you little worm! I'm going to take you apart limb by limb! Henry? <gasps> I was just leaving. Oh, you poor things. Oh, what a mess. Well, we certainly won't be having her to babysit again. <laughs> we make a pretty good team, don't we? <laughs> Not in my life. It's so easy being me. I'm Margaret, I won't. I promise. Hmm. Next time, it'll be slugs! <laughs> oh! I'll get you, Henry! <laughs> hey, 
And when you've mixed all the ingredients together, you pour it into these pretty little baking cases. Then Mum puts them in the oven so we don't burn our fingers. That's right, Peter. Oh, aren't sleepovers fun? Yes, they are! <laughs> Oops! We're making fairy cakes, Henry! And we're going to decorate them with fairies! And pink bunnies! I'm having a sleepover! A sleepover? You're having a sleepover? Why? Mum! No, Henry, you're not having a sleepover. And if you think about it for one minute, you'll know why. <laughs> Oh, please, Mum! Just a tiny little one! N-O spells no, Henry. It's not fair! Could you turn that down, Henry? Peter and his friends don't like that kind of music. So? I don't like them! Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Peter and his friends, huh? What do they know about sleepovers anyway? Well, what do you think you're doing? We've brushed our teeth. Oh, we've washed behind our ears. And now we're going to bed. Bed? Ha! But it's only half past six. Aren't you going to have some fun first? Oh, yes. We're going to have a bed inspection. To make sure our beds are all neat and tidy. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everybody. Shall we have a sing song before lights out? Oh, oh, can we? Uh, yes. yes, I really like that. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, let's. Frere Jacques, Frere Over. Make a den. A den? Yep, that's right. And then you can blast off into outer space. Oh, really? Don't listen to him, Gordon. He's only trying to spoil our fun. You ungrateful worm! I'm only trying to show you how to have a proper sleepover. Right, who's ready for a trip to the farthest reaches of the outer Spongolia belt? Me! <gasps> I think. Prepare for takeoff, Wing Commander Gordon. Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> right, where were we? Sonne le mattina, sonne le mattina, ding dang dong, ding dang dong, frera jaca, frera. Speed ahead, Wing Commander! Whee! Uh, we aren't exceeding the permitted speed limit, are we, Henry? Oh. That was really, really, really exciting! Thanks, Henry! No problems, Wing Commander Gordon! What do we do next? Uh, well, we could press some flowers! Or oh, we could tell ghost stories! In the den? Cool! Come to? Of course. The more the merrier. And Ashton Athletic are going to the FA Cup Ooh. final this Saturday. Do you hear that? Oh, I expect it's just the boys having some fun. I'll just make sure they're all right. Peter? Is everything all right in there? Uh-uh. Yes, Mummy! We're 
telling ghost stories. Oh, how exciting. Nighty night, good boys. That was really scary. Yeah, can we have some more? How about a fairy story instead? Hum, <clears throat> hum. Once upon a time, there was a lovely pink fairy called Princess Twinkletips, and... Right, time for a midnight feast! A midnight feast? No sleepover's a proper sleepover without a midnight feast! <laughs> midnight, oh, midnight feast! feast. <laughs> Come on, men! But... <laughs> but it's not... I mean... Ooh. Come on, Peter! <sighs> Did you hear something? No. Well, I think I did. Phew, this isn't good for my nerves. Henry, it's Dad! Quick, hide! Ah! Oh, Fluffy. <laughs> Was close. Yeah, it was. Thanks, Fluffy. Henry, we're being really naughty. <laughs> now then, let's see. Oops, never mind. The fairy cakes aren't in the fridge, Henry. Yeah, I know. But there's loads of other stuff in here. But Henry, we've already brushed our teeth. Peter, we're... I mean, you're having a sleepover. Yes, I am having a sleepover. Woohoo! Look, here are the fairy cakes. Just one thing missing. <laughs> I knew they were there. Mum's secret stash. Just what we need for a great midnight feast. But Henry, what about all the mess? Oh, we'll clean it up later. Now, come on. Phew. I knew you'd get the hang of sleepovers in the end, Peter. Next up, bedroom trampoline. <laughs> hmm, that sounds like... It couldn't be. Peter and his friends wouldn't jump on his bed, would they? Of course not. But I'll just pop up and check. <laughs> Peter? Is everything all right in there? Uh, yes, Mum. All right, then. Go to sleep now. Best boys. Yes, Mum. <laughs> What's next, Henry? The grand finale! Make way for the meanest pirate in the land! A vast dumbbell! <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. Henry! Peter? Oops! And what have you got to say for yourselves? Thank you very, very much for having us. Right, that's it. I'm phoning your parents to come and collect you immediately. And no more sleepovers for either of you, ever! No! So And this is an aqueduct. Very important for... Almost there! Almost there! And so the Romans decided... <laughs> Class D. 
dismissed. Hi, Mum. I've had a great day today. That's nice, dear. Uh, where's Henry? A large scoop of your triple fudge, gooey chocolate, chip peanut, butter, marshmallow, custard flavour, please. And an extra scoop of one of my best customers. Better get back before our mum sees us. Henry, your face! Huh? Oh, Henry, there you are. Uh, bye, Henry. Bye, Ralph. See you tomorrow for another fun-packed day at school. Come on, come on. Ice cream is cooling. Day today. You better make the most of it. What? Your last day? How come? You're my only customers. Nobody's buying ice cream anymore. But we do! We'll buy everything! <sighs> it's not enough, I'm afraid. Everyone wants to eat a healthy food, and no one thinks my ice cream is very healthy. But, but... So from tomorrow, no more ice cream. Carrot stick, Henry. No thanks. Not unless it's carrot stick ice cream. Aye. Oh, everyone's eating vegetables. It's hard, Henry. I should know. Henry, Peter, tea time. I'm hungry. What's for tea? Ooh, sausages. Yes, Henry. Carrot sausages. Ooh, yummy. What? Carrot sausages? With boiled carrots and carrot mash. Why are there so many carrots? Don't be horrid, Henry. They're really good for you. What's for pudding? Carrot cake. Can you believe this? And so, what the Romans decided to do? Well, let's see what's on the other side. This is a really squirmy salad with aubergines, apricots, peppers and courgettes. Chuck on a bit of basil and some grated carrot and your almond dry. Beautiful. Oh, it's a vegetable! Get me out of here! <laughs> carrots! Ice cream! More carrots! And this just in. From today, ice cream will no longer exist. <gasps> I repeat, ice cream has become extinct. Corsets, artichokes. Ooh, we could make a wonderful salad, Mum. <laughs> we need ice cream. Hey, where's all the ice cream gone? It's always been right here.
these damaged tins of carrots. Look at them. Well, it's not my fault they took away all the ice cream. Well, you can just help me put them away. <sighs> Collect six tokens and win a tour of the Frosty Freeze Ice Cream Factory. And write a slogan. Well, yeah, I guess I can do that. What's for tea, Mum? Uh, carrots? Great! What? Here, listen to this. Frosty Freeze is really cool. If you don't eat it, you're a fool. <laughs> if that doesn't win, my name isn't Rude Ralph. Thanks, Ralph. You really are a pal. Welcome to Frosty Freeze Ice Cream, where everyone gets a really cool reception. <laughs> uh, my name's Frosty Steve. Follow me to Frosty Freeze. <laughs> will we get free samples? Henry? Of course you will. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Meet the uh, Snowbots. They're very cool workers. <laughs> and this is where we mix in all our lovely ingredients. <laughs> wow. Oh, much ice cream. Oh, I can't wait. I'm hungry already. Here, Mum packed you a snack, just in case. Great. With a crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> what is answer? Uh, oh, uh, a frostbite. Henry, keep up. Gotta go. It's free sample time. <laughs> It's orange. <laughs> hmm. Whatever it is, it's delicious. Hmm. That is good. Can't quite work out the flavour. <laughs> Try some, Henry. Uh, it's carrot. Carrot? Carrot? <laughs> Uh, yeah. You see, Mum packed carrots for my snack and they accidentally fell into the vat. Now, got any more bright ideas for new flavours? <laughs> What can I get you, Henry? An extra large scoop of my special flavour, please. What's that? <laughs> ketchup ice cream! After all, ketchup's made from a vegetable too! <laughs> so easy being me! I'm Henry! And it's Shaw running down the wing. He passes to McAnally. He shoots! I forgot.
forgotten Steve's birthday tea party on Saturday, have you? But the cup final's on Saturday! I know. That's why I'm reminding you. We're going to our rubies for tea. But Mum! Tea, Henry, not football. Definition. You, um, watching it on your old telly, Henry? Yeah, suppose so. Oh, and we're having a special cake in the shape of a giant football. There will be cakes that aren't rubies, too. Sorry, Henry. Missed the goal. Oh, I wish I could miss the party. If only it wasn't happening at the same time as the final. <gasps> you freaker! Time for tea! Hello? This is Ruby speaking. Uh, 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 hello. Uh, this is the, uh, the Prime Minister. Well, I'm phoning to tell you that the clocks are changing on Saturday, so tea time will be three hours later than usual. I beg your pardon. Uh, who is this calling? There's someone on the phone saying that tea on Saturday will be three hours later than usual. <laughs> nice try, Henry, but you're still coming! Hurry up, Henry! It's nearly time to go! I don't think I can go, Mum! I'm not very well! Henry, the only thing wrong with you is football fever. You've got ten minutes to get ready or you're going in your pyjamas. But... No buts, Henry. Uh, what's that you said, Aunt Ruby? Oh dear, the party's cancelled. OK, don't worry, I'll tell Mum and Dad. You've got 20 seconds to finish your cereal, Henry. Henry, where are you? if it'll make you feel better, Henry. Be quiet, worm! I don't want to give Steve any presents! Don't be horrid, Henry. Stop! What is it, Henry? Come on, Henry. <laughs> Wait, Henry. But I need to go right now! Henry, where are you? I'm locked in, Dad! 
Really? Let me give it a try. Uh, it's no use. It won't open. Why don't you go on without me? You can pick me up on the way back. Don't be so stupid, Henry. Come out of there. No! Henry, you come out of that toilet now, or I'll give all your toys away, and you won't have any pocket money until you're 94 and a half! Hmm. OK, Dad. Hello, Ruby. Oh, I'm so glad you could all make it. Oh, yes. Henry can watch me open all my presents. I've got loads. That's nice, Steve. Uh, oh, Ruby, would it be OK if I watch the cup final, please? Oh, well, I suppose so. Oh, we've got hamsters do the funniest things on DVD. Oh, what a lovely idea, Peter. Let's watch it after tea. Thanks, Worm. Henry? Now, let's all go into the drawing room. The silver's not quite polished yet. <laughs> no way. I'm off to find a TV. Oh, no TV in there. Or there. Spells no, Henry. Come downstairs now. Oh, a personal stereo. I've already got five of those. Huh. Oh, a two way radio. Whoever would I want to talk to? I think I'll open your present next, Mummy. It's the very biggest one. Hello? Brian, it's Henry. I need your help. Hmm, no problem, Henry. Now, first, you need to open up the back. I'm in. Now, you have to take the blue wire. Henry? Henry! Where are you? Oh, I've got to hurry. Mum's coming. Henry! <sighs> Done it. OK, Henry. Now, put the battery back in and you should have a signal. And it looks like Ashton Athletic are making a substitution. Oh, cool. Thanks, Brian. Oh, sorry, Mum, I got lost. Yes, well, everyone is waiting for you in the dining room. OK. How nice for us all to be together at last. Hmm, with no distractions. And it's a through ball to McAnally. Is it beat one to better? Look what I've got, my little chickadee. And he's beaten another defender. 